What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing something a little bit different. We are doing a tier list for the Diablo 4 classes at launch. Okay, so this is gonna be really quick and sweet and to the point guys, so let's hop right into it. Oh, a brief little like asterisk here. If you guys disagree with me on any of this, please let me know down in the comments and where you guys would rank these. This is just my opinion. And again, this is just at launch based on all of the changes that we do know. This isn't based off of the potential of the classes in the end game. This is just at launch. Okay, so let's get right into it. The Rogue is an adaptable, agile warrior who can specialize in ranged or close quarters combat. The Rogue's mobility is one of the things that makes it shine throughout the entire game, guys. Having access to dash and another skill like Shadow Step, a Rogue is able to slice it in and out of combat with no worries. And if you don't want to be up close and personal, the rogue can do it from range as well. Using all of the bows and all of the different traps that you can to imbue and like just keep enemies stuck in place while you just snipe them down with your bow makes it to where range combat feels very, very smooth. However, for the rogue to make it into S tier, not everything can be perfect. What the rogue lacks is AOE damage. And yes, there is some builds that make it to where AOE damage is really good, but single target damage is definitely where the rogue thrives. Okay, the other negative to the rogue is the survivability its ability to take hits okay but the way to counteract this is the rogue's speed being able to dash and shadow step out of places i do wish that the rogue had a little bit more survivability but that's okay with the wide arsenal of skills the rogue can use now during server slam the rogue received a few skill nerfs but overall it's still very very strong and the twisting blades was just it just didn't get nerfed it's still super super strong and having the highest single target dps makes the rogue single-handedly one of the best and easy classes to play at launch it's got to be s tier next is the sorcerer the sorcerer is a range caster class that uses mana as a resource and has very good crowd control options such as chilling enemies freezing them and locking them in place it uses the three elements of fire lightning and cold to destroy its enemies the sorcerer's ability to crowd control is definitely its highest strength locking them down so that way the sorcerer can move freely in and out of combat and then just dis you deploy a huge and just deploy huge amounts of damage to the enemies that can't sit there and do nothing. Having control over all three elements, guys, the cold, fire, and lightning makes the sorcerer adept for any situation with a precisely placed teleport to get them in and out of combat. Teleport is definitely one of the strongest mobility skills in the game, and I'm really looking forward to hopefully they nerfed it to where you can't teleport clearly across the screen, but it's still a very, very powerful skill that makes it really good for PvP. Now, the Sorcerer did suffer a few small things uh, nerfs during the server slam, especially to Chain Lightning and even more so to its Hydra build. Okay, Hydras did suffer a huge nerf. Again, they were really, really strong, so it did warrant a big nerf. But overall, the Chain Lightning nerf still made it feel very, very good. I mean, it's still super, super strong against multiple enemies, but even more so against the single targets, okay? The Sorcerer is gonna be able to wreck house for anyone that wants to play her at the start of launch for Diablo 4. So we have no place to put her but s tier next is the barbarian the barbarian has unparalleled strength and expertly wields an entire arsenal of weapons in battle with every with a weapon for every occasion wait using five different weapons the barbarian's mastery goes beyond that of any other class the durability to stand in front of monsters and take hit after hit after hit makes the barbarian a very very strong choice just to sit there and tank everything it's going to be the leader of your entire team guys it's super durable and you can just take hits like no other class however the barbarian what he lacks in good early game experience as well as being fairly slow once you get past level 20 you start to get access to the shouts to be able to increase your power and mobility then the barbarian becomes a very very seamless class to play it actually turns out to be one of the more funner classes throughout the open and server slam betas the Barbarian did suffer a few nerfs with upheaval, which wasn't too bad. It was very, very strong at the beginning, being able to crit at its maximum for over 300,000 damage during the open beta. But now with all of the nerfs, you're down to like maybe six or 7K, at least up to level 20 with really good gear. Now the shouts did get nerfed as well, guys, but the shouts still felt very, very strong. The Barbarians live and breathe off of these shouts, which helps not only himself, but his teammates as well if you're doing group play. So even without everything, all the nerfs to the Barbarian, uh, which I hope 
don't get any more nerfs. The Barbarian needed buffs, but the Barbarian felt very, very strong, so we had to put the Barbarian in A tier. Next is the Necromancer. Necromancers are cunning summoners that conjure vengeful hordes of the undead. The Necromancer is a tricky one for me, guys, in the tier list because since the open beta, the Necromancer has suffered many, many nerfs and then buff slash hot fixes throughout its duration over one month. To be honest, I'm not sure why the big nerf to the minions even happened, but let's talk about some of the strengths that the Mech Necromancer has. Necromancer has the second and arguably some of the highest DPS in the game next to the Rogue, especially with its Bone Spear. Being able to just topple any enemies with that kind of damage and piercing through multiple mobs makes the Necromancer very, very good to play. Now, next is all of the nerfs, guys. I can't go talking about Necromancer in the tier list without the nerfs. The Necromancer got a huge nerf to all of the minions, and I'm not sure why. The minions felt very, very strong and very good overall in the first beta, but I guess the devs felt like a nerf was warranted for the minions to kind of, you know, hey, we want you to make use of your rise dead every, you know, 10 seconds instead of every 30 seconds. But overall, they did hotfix it right in the middle of Server Slam. And what it looked like is it was overall a very good hotfix, making it as close to the open beta as possible. We even see some clips of some people taking down the Mighty Ashava world boss uh, in the boss fights during the Server Slam, which was really, really good. I think the minions need to be a very strong uh, part of the Necromancer, seeing how the Necromancer doesn't have any mobility. Its mobility comes with the minions being able to just aggro all of the monsters so that way the Necromancer can move freely throughout combat, casting all of its bone spears and blood spells. So, however, with the lack of potential the minions face, I had to put the Necromancer in B tier. Hopefully later in the game that it will make it a little bit better, but for now, Necromancer's in B tier, to B tier. However, I wanted to put it in A tier. Let me know what you guys think about the Necro down in the comments. Now, last and certainly not least is everyone's Hurricane 13 damage is the Druid. The Druid is a savage shapeshifter, guys, that fluidly transforms between a towering werebear and a ferocious werewolf, okay? This is going to be the class I'm stuck playing. Thank you, Demon. Uh, but the Druid does have the commanding power of the elements of Earth, Wind, and Storm to be able to have a wide access of skills that the Druid can use. However, with this wide strength of skills that can you, you can use to unleash nature's wrath, the druid strength only lies in its companions. The companions of the druid with the, the crows, the wolves, and then as well as the vines does make crowd control and having the ability to you know, just destroy enemies with your nature's allies is very, very cool and very actually kind of nice to play. Now, what they did do with the, the Druid is they didn't really give it any nerfs per se, but they did give it a few buffs, especially the Companions to do more damage, as well as allowing the Druid's ultimates to have a lower cooldown. But even with the ultimate cooldowns, none of the ultimates are really super powerful in comparison to some of its basic skills. But, uh, you know, it's still pretty cool to have those. Okay, so... Now, even with the reduction of those, it still doesn't make up for the huge lack of mobility with the character. The Druid is fairly slow and kind of plays more of a Necro with the Companions in some sense. And having the Vines with some crowd control allows him to move freely. But the lack of mobility with no real mobility skills. Yes, I do know of Trample, but Trample is still not good enough compared to other classes. So, this with toppling the lowest dps in the game it does make it hard to play druid at launch but there is hope warriors the mid to late game does prove to be very good for the druids according to the devs so let's hope that it does and all things considered i had to put druid in the f tier or the do not play class tier until you get to level 25 or higher so thank you guys so much for watching today's video in my tier list. Like the video if you guys did enjoy it. Uh, let me know down in the comments what do you guys think about my tier list and where you would put uh, you know, your classes in your tier list. Maybe I ranked one differently. Let me know. Let's get the conversation going. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. We do are so close to having 10,000 subs before uh, Diablo 4, the launch. So I'm really trying to get there. Please help me out. And as always, stay gaming. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.